Frisco police are piecing together details in a fatal collision involving a pedestrian and a semi. The man was hit this morning on Market at 5th. The tractor trailer was later stopped near Front and Battery Street. KPX 5 Susie Stein on why the driver might not be charged, even though he didn't stop. Susie? Well, Veronica, I'm standing right here on Broadway, right near Front Street. And as you said, this is where that truck driver was pulled over, and it's more than a mile away from the original crash site. Now, we're told he's not expected to be facing charges just yet because we're told he didn't know that he hit anyone, let alone dragged them two city blocks. No one should die that way. It's really horrible. A fatal crash at the edge of the Tenderloin today has pedestrians on alert. This intersection is pretty crazy, especially at rush hour. What's it like walking around here as a pedestrian? Uh, uncomfortable. 54-year-old Michael Evans was hit at Mason and Eddy Streets by this big rig truck at 540 this morning. He was then dragged to 5th and Market. The driver seen here didn't want to talk, but did speak to police. He's not facing any charges. We're told he didn't know he had hit anyone by the time police had pulled him over more than a mile from the crash site. This could happen to anybody. I mean, I... I you want to think like it couldn't happen to me, but at this point with the state of our streets and what we're seeing happen, I, I no longer feel like I'm safe at all. Michael is the 12th person to die while walking in San Francisco so far this year. Last year at this time, that number was eight. There have been 19 traffic related deaths in 2019. In 2018, there were 23 total. The city's vision zero goal is to bring that number to zero by 2024. The, the goal of the city says five years away um, and we want to get there because these are every life we lose. It's these are preventable. We can change our streets. It's unclear at this point if Michael, the victim in this case, was in a crosswalk at the time of the crash. Police say that is still under investigation. They're looking at surveillance camera video and they're hoping to hear from witnesses. So if you saw anything, they are hoping to hear from you. Live in San Francisco, Susie Steimel, KPIX 5.